that points to Joel 2.28. But yet, Hata hivo, he says in the scripture mandiko, that afterward, Baada, au badaye, it shall come to pass afterward slide two, badaye, that I will pour out my spirit. And wangu. it appears is as though Na ni kama after kwamba, I have restored all things mambo yote, after I have restored what the cankerworm, caterpillar, locust and the palm worm have eaten prare, yote ime, then after that, Basi, bada ya ilo, then I will pour down my spirit. Roho wangu. But we know that is not how it happened. Hivo, si vio. Praise the name of the Lord. And God has a way of hiding his secrets in little things like that. Na mungu yuna ma, njia ya kuficha mambo madogo because madogo a vivo. human being is chronological. Kwa kuwa binadamu ni He's a being of time. Ni kiumbe but God is not a being is of time. Mungu siyo kiumbe and therefore, Basi. this confession Fusion about whether the return of the gifts of the Holy Ghost is the restoration or whether it's part of the reformation is what I would like us to fellowship upon for just one hour. Because I know, we know the truth about it. We have been taught about it. So we can enjoy fellowshipping around that truth. Bona as if you sana. Amen, that's right. When God writes his word, he scatters it in pieces and bits. Like a jigsaw puzzle. And he throws it all over the Bible. Anytime the Holy Ghost is delivering the word, that is his style. Therefore, Basi. if it's the same Holy Ghost who has spoken this message, then he has scattered the thought of the message in many message books. Amina. A little here, kidogo here hapa, little. Hapa kidogo. line upon line, Misari, and Misari. precept upon precept. Kipenge kwa kipenge. I put some definitions there so that we are clear. In slide chapter 4, a reformation means making changes to something with the intention of setting it back on the right path. Meaning it is still on the journey. Meaning it has not arrived. But it is going the wrong route. Lakini, if it makosa, continues on that path, ile, it will not arrive at the destination. Basi, so why yake. do you reform? Basi, to bring radisha. it back on the right path. So njia, that with the passage of time, ili kwa mbia, it will arrive in the right destination. Ma, ma, there mahala, cannot ma, be a reformation na if the destination has been achieved. Kama hatima imewadiwa. Praise the name of the Lord. And what is a Restoration. The action of returning something to a former owner, a place, or condition. That has a finality to it. That is the destination. Praise the name of the Lord. We have a promise of restoration. That the church of the living God shall be returned to the former condition. To the former place. If we come and we declare a restoration has happened, we must be a church that is where it belonged originally. Amina, that's right. What brings a problem is that in our day, in the Laodicean church age, we have had two restorations which I'm going to refer in this sermon as capital R and small R so that we understand. Stay with me, slide 52. It says as follows. What if Moses would have come 
would brought Noah's message. Ingekuja kama Musa angekuja na kuleta ujumbe wa Nuhu. We'll build an ark and float down the Nile. Na kujenga safina na kuelekea kule kwa mto Nile. Nile hainge will Jesus message have ever worked on Moses. Na hata ujumbe wa Yesu haungefanya kwa Musa. Neither will Wesley's message ever work in Luther. Na ujumbe wa Wesley hautafanya kazi kwenye Luther. Or Luther's message Au, vice versa. Ujumbe wa Luther hiyo ndivyo na vingine. Na sasa leo our last great reformation sisi urejesho urekebishaji mkuu ulikuwa pendekote and today we Na. are moving from that sasa tunaondoka kwa hilo praise the name of the lord so the church that went down at nikea basi kanisa liliokuwa kule nikea and god starts raising it again from luther na mungu anaanza kurejesha kupitia luther a process of returning it on the right path hatua ya kujirejesha kwenye njia halisi and it goes the through the stage of luther justification Na pita kwenye hatua ya Luther kwa sababu ya sanctification na Wesley utakaso and Pentecost na hata Pentecost by the rrr, na restoration kwa, na ule urejesho but au kurekebisho the restoration of Joel 2:25 lakini sio kurejesho kwa Joel 2:25 it is a restoration of Joel 2:28 ni yale marejesho ya Joel 2:28 kwamba mtamoga roho wangu and it's called restoration of the gifts na inaitwa marejesho ya vipawa very different from the restoration ni tofauti sana na yale marejesho and i will restore na mimi nitarejesha yes that those that insect ate miaka baya wadudu wale waliokula if We can differentiate those two restorations. Kama tunaweza tofautisha yale marejesho mawili. Even the divide right now in the message and go. Hata kwenye kwenye ujumbe ambao inaendelea. Is solved. Imetimia. Ime, ime Because the prophet told us. Kwa siku Nabii alivyoambia. When you see such a thing. Mkiona mambo kama hayo. Do not take sides. Msitwae upande. Because if you take any side. Kwa kitoa upande wote. You will run out of scriptures. Utaondoka kwa maandiko. We don't want to run out of scriptures. Hatutaki kukosa maandiko. We want to stay in the highway. Tunataka kudumu kwenye njia kuu. Praise the name of the Lord. Jambo antukuzwe. Restoration of the gifts. Marejesho ya vipawa and the restoration. Na ile marejesho The restoration of the gift small r marejesho vipawa ile dogo small r na big r is not a doctrine ile r ndogo na r kubwa sio mafundisho tafadhali i'm not introducing a new doctrine si antagulizi mafundisho mapya these are just my aids hii ni vi mondoko wangu to help this congregation kusaidia 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 nyiko hili wakati wa jioni to to go with me in my sermon kwaenda nami kwenye somo langu understand mwaelewa This restoration haya marejesho is part of the reformation ni sehemu ya kule kurekebisha so the reformation has three things basi kurekebisha kunayo matatu justification kuhesabiwa haki sanctification utakaswa and restoration of the gifts of the holy ghost vile vipawa vya roho mtakatifu those three things hivyo vitu vitatu are those the restoration promised in Joel 2:25 hiyo ni marejesho ambayo imeandikwa kwenye Joel 2:25 If we can ask ourselves this evening kama tunaweza jiuliza jioni leo if the restoration of Joel 2:25 kama yale marejesho ya Joel 2:25 what are we supposed to see ni kipi tupaswa kuona and we check if with the restoration of the gifts of the holy ghost tukaangalia na tukaangalia kwenye marejesho ya vipawa vya roho mtakatifu that was visible kama hayo yalikuwa yakionekana bwana asivue sana amina the first thing jambo la kwanza the restoration yale marejesho of the church ya kanisa back to original pentecost urejelea pentecost asili was supposed to be done by a man ilipaswa kufanyizwa na mwanadamu malaki 4 5 and 6 malaki 4 5 and 6 if any restoration happens kama marejesho yote yanarudia and that man is not on the land na yule mtu hayupo then we know this is not the restoration basi tunajua hii sio ile marejesho malaki 4 5 and 6 because it was the work of a specific man kwa sababu ilikuwa kazi ya mtu to the heart of the children urejesha mioyo ya watoto urejelea hapo bazao za kipendekote praise the name of the lord jambo antukuzwe so we must watch out for a one man show basi lazima tuangalie yule mtu mmoja onyesho lake we must watch out lazima tuangalie slide 
The original wheat seed of Pentecost was to come back in the last age. It has been buried at Nisea. It at Nisea. It sent up a shoot at Sardis. It, it, a shoot at Sardis. it, it grew a tassel at Philadelphia. It, it was Philadelphia. to mature at Laodicea. It was to mature at Laodicea. But it could not be back to the original until the word was restored. The prophet had not yet come upon, upon the scene. scene. But now, according to the time wherein we stand, within the Laodicean churches, the prophet messenger of Revelation 10 must already then be on the land. Praise the name of the Lord. Once more, that say the Lord must be here ready to be manifested with invaluable vindication. This is the true seed already maturing and then the harvest. So if we have an ex a spiritual experience that was available before the prophet of Malachi 4 was here, it is not the restoration. It could be a type of restoration. Restoration of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. It is a part of the reformation. But the restoration promised in Joel 2.25 has one important precondition that the prophet messenger of Malachi 5, 5 to 6 must already be here with that says the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. The big question is whether the spiritual baptism of the Holy Ghost is the restoration back to Pentecost or not. Or <laughs> not. And the best way to know about a reformation. Why don't we study, why don't do a case study of an age where nobody questions whether it was a reformation or not? Then from that age, we will know the characteristics of a reformation age. Then we can take those characteristics and use them to critically examine whether the Pentecostal age was a reformation age or the restoration age. Praise the name of the Lord. If you ask any historian, there is no doubt that Luther's Age, which is called Luther, the age of Sardis, was the age of reformation. So, if we go to the resume of the church ages in uh, slide 6 where the prophet speaks about Luther's age. He says, we rejoice in this age for this one thing. Reformation had started. This is Luther's age. It was not a resurrection, but it was a reformation. Neither was it a restoration. So something that is a reformation cannot be at the same time a restoration. Praise the name of the Lord. But the cause of wheat that had died at Nisia had rotted in the dark ages now sent up a shoot of truth signifying that at some future date so in Luther's time the great restoration back to Pentecost was at a future date. That time they were only doing reformation. 
At a future date at the end of the Laodicean age. So it is known. When this reformation, restoration would happen. At some future date. When? Lini. At the end of the Laodicean age. Mwisho wa kizaa cha Laodikia. Any restoration we see at the beginning of the Laodicean age katika kizaa cha Laodikia is not this restoration. Sio huku kurejesho. Any restoration we see in the middle of the Laodicean age ya kizaa cha Laodikia is not this restoration. Siko kule kurejesho. This restoration has a set date. Huku kurejeshwa kuna tarehe imewekwa. called a future date. Na hiyo inaitwa tarehe ya siku za usoni. At the end of the Laodicean just before Jesus came, the church would go back to being a white seed again, where the tears would be harvested and burned in the lake of fire. In slide 11, God addresses the Lutherans in the Sadisian church age. And he tells them, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. I'm not going to that line because it's a whole sermon with him. Strengthening the things which remain that are ready to die. Go read in the Sadisian church age. I'm interested in this line. I have not found thy works perfect before God. I have not found thy works perfect before God. Luther, the great reformer who defied the Catholic Church, who shook the entire world fighting for Jesus Christ and God has not found his works perfect. What is the problem here? The prophet tells us now be careful and get this. It says in this second verse, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Do you know what the meaning of not perfect really is? It is unfulfilled. It is halfway. It is a partial work. It is a work in part. This age was an unfulfilled age. One characteristic of a reformation age It is an unfulfilled age It was just the start of getting back That is why I said the Bible called it reformation Not restoration Praise the name of the Lord You cannot have an unfulfilled age Restoration. Slide nine. That we are still on Luther's age. You know it's good sometimes to dwell on the, the areas where there are no arguments. I'm on Luther. That hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Now it is God is going to restore. The Lutheran age did not restore the church. It started a reformation. That's why their works were not perfect before God. Not because they were sinners and unbelievers, but because their work was not fulfilled. It was a stage in the journey. The Lutheran age did not restore the church. It started a reformation. The Wesleyan age did not restore. The Pentecostal age did not restore. But God has to restore. For he cannot deny his work. Praise the name of the Lord. It is clear as the day. If Luther's age was unfulfilled, that means it was not perfect. 
Wesley's age was unfulfilled. Meaning it was not perfect. Then the Pentecostal age was unfulfilled. It was not perfect. If it had been, it would have restored. But there is a promise. God did not deny his word that God has to restore. Praise the name of the Lord. Joel 2.25 Joel is still at a future date inside the Pentecostal age. Are they speaking in tongues? Are they doing mighty works? Are the dead being raised? Are the sick being healed? Is there mighty works of God in the church? Exactly so. But they did, did not restore. Amen, that's right. I enjoy reading the word. It is just dovetails. There is no question about it. I it was just the start of getting back. That's why I said the Bible called it reformation. Not restoration. So the restoration of the gifts of the Holy Ghost was just part of getting back. This is the confusing part. But I believe you are children of the daylight. The restoration of the gifts of the Holy Ghost was part of the reformation. It was the start it was part of getting back. Not the restoration. Now this was an unfulfilled age. It was an age of reformation. But that is how God wanted it. Revelation 3, 2. Be watchful. Strengthen the things which remain. That are ready to die. For I have not found thy ones perfect before God. I wish it could be said that the Sadducean age was a restoration instead of a reformation. But I cannot say that. <laughs> so the prophet is not addressing the Sadducians. He is addressing the Pentecostals. But using the Sadducians to say I wish I could say that the Pentecostal age was a restoration instead of a reformation. But I cannot say that. The word does not call it a restoration but certainly calls it a reformation. Had it been a restoration that age would have been another Pentecostal age. But it was not. Amen, that's right. So we have to find out what is that Pentecostal age. Because if, 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 if justification was a reformation, it did not produce a Pentecostal age. If sanctification was a reformation, then it did not produce a Pentecostal age. If the restoration of the gifts of the baptism of the Holy Ghost was a reformation, then it did not produce a Pentecostal age. The word cannot contradict itself. A restoration must produce another Pentecostal age. What is a Pentecostal age? What characterizes us as Pentecostal age? Is it the way people receive the Holy Ghost? Is it the manifestations and the works that are produced by receiving the Holy Ghost? What characterizes characterizes a true Pentecostal age. If we are going to say 
that a true Pentecostal age Kama tusema, cha kweli cha is manifested by me- the method of receiving the Holy Ghost. Kwa mbinu ya Then we have to go to the first Pentecostal age Basi, lazima, cha and Pentecost. we try to figure out the Na method njia, that is minu. correct of receiving the Holy Ghost ya so that we can come and apply it Ili to know kazi we have a Pentecostal age. When we go back to the original Pentecost, hasili, we see 120 in the upper chamber. There is a mighty rushing wind. And leaks of fire fall upon each other. of them. And they receive the Holy Ghost. A few days later, uh, in fact on the same day, another preached to 3,000. They believe they are baptized. They receive the Holy Ghost. But we are not told another mighty rushing wind came. And now the tongues of fire came. And all those other things that are happening in the chamber. They receive their own method. A few days later, they receive the Holy Ghost. 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 We cannot identify the true Pentecostal age by the method of receiving the Holy Ghost. Neither can we identify it by miracles and wonders. In the same true Pentecostal age, there is one man. If you walk in his shadow and you are sick, you immediately rise up and you start walking. But there is another man kuna mtu mwingine called Matthias we Ana don't know Madhia. if he ever did anything hatujui kama ashawe ifanya lolote so we cannot judge basi hatuwezi hukumu using the manifestations ni kwa madhihirisho so if a true restoration must produce the true pentecostal age again basi marejesho kamili kama yataleta pentecoste tena we must know what, lasima kar- tujue. what characterizes true pentecostal age ni tabia zipi hizi za pentecoste kweli so that we look out for it ili tuiangalie when tu- we see it again tukiona tena then we say it's not reformation basi tusema sio marekebisho it is restoration ni yale marejesho 20 Oh, they are the written word. But not the revealed word. This was the reformation. But fear not little flock. God said I will restore. And this Luther's reform was going to be the start of it. He was going to according to his promise take the church back from the depth of satan kulitoa kanisa kutoka kilindi cha shetani in the dark ages to the depth of god that they had at pentecost kwenye wakati wa giza hadi kilindi cha mungu alikokuwa kwenye pentecost for in the restoration basi tunatafuta nini kwenye marejesho the depth of god that they had at kilindi cha mungu alivyokuwa katika pentecost praise the name of the lord ya bwana tukuzwe no in god tukimjua bwana flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you but my father who art in heaven how do you get into the depth of god je unapataje kwenye kilindi cha mungu revelation kwa ufunuo individual revelation how does revelation come je ufunuo waja kwa njia ipi kwa imani how does faith come imani huja njia ipi kwa hearing kwa kusikia hearing what kusikia kipi the word the word of god neno la mungu if you receive partial word ukipata neno nusu partial faith unapata imani nusu you get partial revelation unapata ufunuo nusu and you know god na unajua Mungu kinusu ukipokea neno lote perfect faith unapata imani kamilifu unapata ufunuo mkamilifu unajua Mungu katika utimilifu katika utimilifu wake unarejelea kilindi praise the name of the lord jina bwana tukuzwe 
you are no longer an unfulfilled work. Your works are perfect before God. Because you say amen to a perfect work. Praise the name of the Lord. Not because you are devoid of mistakes and faults in your life. You are perfect just because you believe a perfect work. That's right. When Paul was speaking, to the church and he said that he was jealous over them because I have exposed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste bride to Christ. But he was fearing and if his fears were not unfounded because there were prophetic fears. But I fear Let by any means the serpent shall beguile the is going to beguile your minds away from the simplicity that is in Christ. Another name of the depth of God is the simplicity that is in Christ. And how are they going to do this? 25. That if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Who we have not preached. Oh you receive another spirit. Which you have not already received. Or another gospel. Which you have not accepted. That you will bear with him. That is where the church deviated from the right path. The work of the reformation was to beat it back to the right path. Stage by stage by stage. But it was not any time God had a program with a specific time for this work. And he says this. And he says this. Uh, in slide 26. It is between, he is saying exactly when it should happen. That it is between the sixth trumpet. Sorry, the sixth trumpet and the sixth seal sound at the same time. Okay. We saw this when we were doing this, we were, we were going through the seven trumpets. And between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet, we know that is now. Praise the name of the Lord. That is this time. Between the Second World War and the rapture is called between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet. That's when the restoration is supposed to happen. When the restoration of the gift of the Holy Ghost was being poured out here, Joel 2.28, the world wars had not begun. The sixth trumpet had not sounded. So the restoration of the gift of the Holy Ghost cannot be the restoration because it is outside the time given for the restoration. It has to be between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet. And he continues and says, between the sixth trumpet and the seventh trumpet, there is a prophet to appear before the Gentiles to call the people back to the original Pentecostal doctrine. So the restoration has everything to do with doctrine. And nothing to do with anything else. Amen. So, a restoration must have a teaching. A reformation, a manifestations are sufficient. All the people go to go and read history. All 
all the people who were under Luther's ministry did not agree with him in doctrine. They agreed with him in manifestation. They agreed with him in the move of defying the Catholic Church. When it came to any other teaching, everybody had their opinion. And they held long debates every day in Martin Luther's house. Debating these things left, right, and center. The ones who served down Wesley, including one of his closest associates, they differed, they differed sharply on the doctrine of predestination. Are you Saved by grace Je, or saved kolea, by kwa neema, au kwa kazi. Does it mean if predestination is true? Then it does not matter whether we are holy or not. We argue their entire life. Yao yote when we come to the Pentecostals, they agreed in the manifestations of the Holy Ghost. They agreed in speaking in tongues. They agreed in signs and wonders. They totally disagreed on doctrine. The Godhead, the Godhead, Yule utawa, oneness, moja, two, the prophet, wili, threeness, whateverness, yote, everything, and they chum. organized and they went their separate na ways. Praise the name of the Lord. Jabu antukuzi. In the restoration, marejesho, there is one man sent kuna mtu moja and he preached the message the absolute to deliver the one doctrine once delivered to the saints. You believe that in the restoration back to the Pentecostal doctrine. And the Holy Ghost himself can only be poured upon a restored Pentecost. Yeah, Pentecost Praise the name of the Lord. A church that has been restored to the doctrine. Only then can the opening of the seven seals take place. Amen. That's right. We know this quote in 29 that says, The Holy Spirit has been bound by this denomination of believers for almost 2,000 years. So, what is this operating in Luther? It is a bound Holy Ghost. Nobody should tell you it's not the Holy Ghost. It is a Holy Ghost that is bound. It cannot fully operate. Because the Holy Ghost only operates in an environment of the Word. So if you have a piece of the word, a part of the word, the Holy Ghost can only operate within that part. In the other parts that you, are, you don't have, he is bound. He is bound. Praise the name of the Lord. Now the Lord is bound. Praise the name of the Lord. But when the Holy Ghost had been released in full, then he is to be loosed Basi, in the atiliwa. evening time by the evening time message. So if it is the evening time message losing the Holy Ghost, it means it is the evening time message bringing jioni. the perfect environment of the full world that the Holy Ghost can now kamilifu. operate in Kwamba, full. The Holy Spirit back in the church again right. Christ himself revealed in human flesh in the evening time. He said it. He promised it. His promises are here and they will They can never fail to pass. Now listen to this. There was three stages of it. The martyr's age of the martyr. And then the stage of the reformers. And then the calling out time. Only three stages. 
So if the argument is about Pentecostalism, basi kama pingamizi ni ile Pentecost. Of course we know they are not martyrs. Hata tunajua sio sio kwa them dying for the gospel. Hawa tusiki wakifa kwa sababu ya imani. With us with two ages. Basi tunabakia na vizazi viwili. They belong to the reformers. Wawe ni wale wa kurekebisho. Oh they belong in the calling out time. Ah wako kwenye wakati wa kuitwa. That is their question to answer. Ilo ni swali la kujibu. Reformation and martyrs kurejesha au kurekebishwa na wale wafia imani at the church from pentecost ukiangalia kanisa katika pentecoste to pentecost hadi pentecoste pentecost to pentecost pentecoste hadi pentecoste only two ni wawili tu we have to figure out where does pentecost lie lazima tuangalie pentecoste iko wapi praise the name of the lord jambo antukuzwe let him say for himself wacha anene mwenyewe 245 eh sorry 33 When finished at Laodicean age according to Revelation 10 the mystery of all the bible would be known the bride. is that right Revelation 10 right called out by the word Christ himself calling out the bride Revelation 10 Hebrews 13 that is the same and forever that the same is the same He that believes on me the works that yeah, I do yeah, shall, shall he do also atazifanya pia Luke 17 that Luke 17 Malachi 4 Malachi 4 Hebrews 4:12 Hebrews 4:12 He is speaking for us the scriptures that are anatoa amaandiko kwamba yanahusishwa kwa siku All the scriptures that is promised maandiko haya yote maahidi that is to be between the six ambaye paswa kuwa kati ya sita and the seventh seal na muhuri wa saba the sixth and the seventh trumpet baragumu ya sita na saba pentecostal feast finishes at the period of the seventh trumpet karamu ya pentecost inatimika tu wakati wa mwisho wa baragumu ya saba that's how we read it hivyo ndivyo tunaisoma but God put stammering lips on his prophets. Lakini Mungu aliweka kinywa cha utata kwa nabii. Wale wanaoona waone. Those who are to miss it, miss it. Wale wanakuikosa waikose. He correct himself. Anajisaisha. Read the underlined part alone. Soma sehemu iliyotia msari tu. Pentecost feast finishes at the period of the Pentecost inatimika tu. Seven seal. Wa kwa muhuri wa saba. For the next is the mystery of the coming of Christ. Because he says seven trumpet for the next is the coming of Christ. Seven seal. For the next is the mystery of the coming of Christ. And also the trumpet to sound to the Jews. So we know when Pentecost feast is ending. Bas unajua wakati wa karamu ya Pentecost inapoisha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amina. The true Pentecost blessing. Baraka za kweli za Pentecost. In the Easter seal. Katika muhuri wa The prophet tells us is the spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead. Ni yule roho aliyofua Yesu Kristo kutoka kwa Mungu. Ikifanya kazi ndani mwako. So if you don't have the works of Christ. Bas kama hanuo unazo. And what was the works of Christ? The kazi za Kristo ziko zipi? He was sure who he is. Alikuwa yeye aliye. He knew the day he is living in. Alijua siku alimoisha. And he knew the scriptures he was fulfilling. Na alikuwa anajua maandiko aliyotimiza. You know who you are. Kama wajua wewe ni nani. And you know the day you are living in. Na unajua siku unamoisha. And you are very certain. Na una uhakika. Just you are fulfilling. Kwa maandiko unayotimiza. The works that I do shall you do. Kazi unazofanya utafanya pia. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. When Jesus Christ stood and said, "Who can accuse me of sin?" In the message we call the perfect faith. The prophet asked, asked, "Do you think he was asking about earthly sins?" No. He was asking, "Who of you can tell me that there is one thing in the scriptures that I'm supposed to be doing now that I am not fulfilling?" Because sin is unbelief. Praise the name of the Lord. Jambo antukuzwe. Hallelujah. Amen. So what is this that happened in Asusa Street in 1906? Ni kipi hiki litukia kwenye mtaa wa Asusa kwenye mwaka 1906? What is this that swept across the United States in 1940s? Ni kipi hiki kilipita Marekani kwote kwenye mwaka 1950? What is this that crossed over 
by the ministers and came to Africa in the late 60s. Wakaja huku kwenye mwaka and the 1970s. Kwenye mwaka when the generation of our fathers were in colleges and high schools. What was that move? What was it? Because if it was a former rain, the former rain must have a teaching as a father had taught us. Because it is called the teaching rain. If a rain poured without the teaching, then what was that? We know for sure it was a restoration of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. What is its place in the message? The prophet says this in the message book of Paradox 46 When you brethren first started you are reformers, the Pentecostal move. So we have no question Pentecostals are reformers, isn't it? Many years ago, when the restoration of the gifts, mark that restoration, the speaking in tongues, things come into the church, God restoring the gifts back in the church, you remember you all had a reformation too. In Jesus keeps all his appointments. And then come the great reformation again. Pentecost coming out of his organization. With the restoration of the gifts. Speaking in tongues. Divine healing. Great miracles. And signs come off. That went for a long time. It has been about 58 years now. Since the Holy Spirit began to fall on old Azusa Street out in California. Here in the United, United States, where it started falling at great times. Come. And then what they do? He just let them stay right there in the wilderness for 40 years. Why? It was not restoration time. They plant vineyards, they eat fruit, married wives, they raise children. Till that old generation died. There's something I want to oh. Ah, good. I got it. 56 Kadesh Banea. I tell you tonight, we have had a lot of false pretense. We've had a lot of make-up belief. We've had a lot of stuff that went on for a show. Certainly, the devil always throws his forerunners at you as a counterfeit to scare the people. We have had a false Pentecost. That was a false Pentecost. We have had a false rain. Why was it a false rain? It did not have the teaching. Why didn't it have the teaching? The teacher was not on the land. Praise the name of the Lord. It was a false rain. We have had a false this and that. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe in the message of back to Pentecost. I believe it. Fully. But when, when, what is the appointed time for restoration back to Pentecost? And when it happens, can we see what is being restored that was not there before? And that boils down to the teaching. But in the midst of every bit of it, there's a genuine baptism of the Holy Ghost. There's a genuine Pentecostal blessing again. Now we come to 217. The difference between two, sorry, 259. The difference between the two scriptures. 
The day of Pentecost, Siku ya Pentecote, the Spirit directed it into that to, to, to Joel 2, 38. Roha nyelekeza kwenye Yoeli 2, 38. Slide 59. Kionyeshe yes. amsina tisa dada. Yes. Now, uh, the prophet says Joel 2, 38. Na bia sema Yoeli 2, 38. But it is Joel 2.28. And you can say that with confidence. Because Joel 2.38 does not exist. Joel chapter 2 ends at verse 32. So we can say with confidence. That the day of Pentecost. The spirit directed it right into that. To Joel 2.28. That I will pour my spirit. Upon all flesh. In the day of Luther. That was the same scripture operating. He directed it right into that. In Wesley. The same. In the last Pentecostal move. But this is another age. For another scripture. For another promise. For a different work of God. This is the calling out of the bride. This is not Joel 228. It is not 2000 years ago. At it is not the repeat of Pentecost. It is not the return of Pentecost. We are operating under a different Amina, that's right. And I will restore. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, he makes it so plain. And he says that sana. the word that fell on the day of Pentecost will not work today, 61. No, sir. That was for Pentecost. This is for the bride. The going home of the bride. We got something different. We operate under different scriptures.